Well, good afternoon, Richie from Drifter Man X here. I'm with my friend Alan and we've got his Traxxas Ford GT out to do some more testing. And this week we've still got a stock gearing on there. We're gonna put the 28 tooth pinion on in a minute. But just to see if the C rating on the battery makes any difference, we've got a 2S 100C pack in here uh, to do a benchmark test to see if we get any quicker with the high C rated pack than we did last week. So we're gonna put the body on, put the GPS on, and uh, give it a test with that pack. And then we're gonna put the 28 tooth pinion on. And don't worry folks, we're not going to attempt a speed run down the, uh, the curb here. Is that peeking out you think? Twenty-two miles an hour again. Wow! I would have thought the C rating would have made a couple of miles an hour different, so but um, not to be. Well, anyway, whilst we've got twenty-two miles an hour, we're now going to put the twenty-eight tooth pinion on and see what we get there. We think this gear is just simply peaking out, even the hundred C battery on there. And with, by the way, with the hundred C battery, a lot more punch in the acceleration, a lot more punch in the mid-range. Certainly seems to make a difference, but we feel the uh, the gear has peaked out on there. So we're going to try the twenty-eight tooth pinion next. How's the motor in the SCF for that first run? Yeah. Barely warm. Barely warm. Okay, so I'm just taking a uh, stock pinion off, which is a uh, 21 tooth pinion, and we're putting on 28 tooth pinion. The uh, motor does need re keying to move around so the adjustment on there to fit the 28 tooth. And the largest you can fit, we believe, is a 29, 29 tooth. Okay, so we've got the 28 tooth pinion in, still the same uh, 2S100C battery pack, so we're going to see what this peaks out at. Oh, that's quicker. That's noticeably quicker, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. 29 miles an hour. That's it? Yeah. Right. 29. I was thinking that was about 30 ish. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So that is pretty darn close to what tractors quote 30 miles an hour yeah. on air with the peak speed. The peak speed they quote um, of 30 miles an hour. People may have seen our video last week 22 miles an hour. 22 miles an hour is the stock pinion. The 30 mile an hour top speed tractors quote is with this optional pinion that is fitted to the car today. So 20 mile, miles an hour. A little bit more running in maybe on this and I think that will free up and hit the uh, 30 miles an hour. Without having to spend any money on the car, I have increased the speed with an included pinion and a battery that you may or may not already have and even if you don't, it's cheaper than buying an entire brushless system. Yes, the car will be much faster, but it will also require other tuning such as suspension, steering setup. It's easier to just learn the car out of the box then mess with the high power brushless system. And also, of course, you, if you go brushless, you've just not got the expense of the brushless system, but you've really got to run light power batteries with it, haven't you? That is absolutely true. And one thing Alan's uh, just commented on, on the uh, Traxxas Ford GT here, is even with that speed increase, the car has become just slightly more unstable. Uh, one uh, sort of maybe criticism people have had uh, that have fitted the brush to set up to it uh, is this engine has maybe become highly unstable. Uh, it's certainly fairly stable um, in that in that run, but it is interesting to note that on fields uh, there is a, a slight change in the uh, the handling dynamics of there. Something to bear in mind before you go crazy with the brushless upgrade. So if you like this video, then please subscribe. As Alan's got a few good reasons why you should do. Here's what he's going to be doing with the car in the next week or so. I'm going to be fitting a Castle 5700 brushless system to the car. I'm going to start off with the box assembled 21 tooth pinion gear 
and move up to the 28 and 2 pinion gear I just used. We're going to see if we can, what kind of increases we can see between the two pinion gears. All right. Well, thank you very much for uh, bringing the car on today to uh, for me to test Alan. Well, for Alan's been driving, I've been filming. So I uh, hope you like this video, people. And as ever, please uh, share with friends if you do. Well, if you like this video, then please do subscribe. And if you want to buy your RC gear, where I buy mine, buy from F&M Hobbies in New Jersey. Many thanks for watching.